In this video, we are going to discuss the EtherCAD Disable feature introduced in the Power PMAC firmware 2.7 and higher. We will cover an introduction to the EtherCAD Disable, hardware and software setup to use this feature, working principle, and finally, a live demonstration of disabling slaves from the configuration. The EtherCAD Disable feature is designed to disable slave devices in the active configuration without affecting overall functionality. Much more often, it is required to operate the system without a perfect match between the EtherCAD bus configuration and the actively connected devices. Using disable function, devices can optionally be added to the network and disabled during the operation and such actions will not cause an error on the EtherCAD network. This functionality makes it possible to set up a complex system while parts of the system are not available or need maintenance. Now users can create a single project for multiple configurations and disable the slaves which will not be used for a specific application, allowing users more flexibility and minimum software maintenance. There is no special hardware required to use this feature and any standard EtherCAD network topology can be used. On the software side, you will have to set few parameters to the standard EtherCAD configuration before you disable any slave and activate the master. First, set ECAT index 0, allow inputs on working counter error to 1. Working counter is a mechanism for EtherCAD master devices to monitor slave behavior in case of invalid or inconsistent data. When devices are disabled from the network, it creates working counter error and prevents PDO communication. Setting this parameter allows PMAC to receive PDO data when one or more slaves are disabled. Second, set ECAT0 RT state check to 1. This parameter periodically monitors the state of the master and slave devices on the network. The results are reported in status elements such as ECAT index I, slave index J, state, ECAT index I, slave index J, online. Specifically, ECAT slave online is used to monitor the status of a slave device. If it is 1, then a device is enabled. 0 means device is disabled or disconnected and not available for the use. And the last one identification tracking. The ID check is required to identify the present slaves as the expected ones. Click on the device in the solution explorer. Select the advanced options. Within the device editor window, check the identification box for each slave. Make sure the slave ID is unique for each slave. Follow the device manual to configure the slave ID. In general, if the EtherCAD devices have physical switch, then it is best to use them for setting up the slave ID. For example, Omron 1S drive with rotary switches. If the device doesn't have a physical switch, such as Omron JC06 junction slave, then use the ID to set the address. Enter desired address under check identification. Select write to EEPROM. and restart the device. Issue ECAT slaves to verify the new address. Now, let's see how disable function works. The functionality is controlled by ECAT slave.enable parameter. If it is set to 1, the device is enabled. If it is set to 0, the device is disabled from the active configuration. To disable a slave device, a following sequence of commands must be used. The disable function can be implemented in two ways. First, disable slaves while the devices are physically present on the network. In this case, disable devices will be set to pre-operational mode while other devices on the network can be set to operational mode. Second, disable slaves while the devices are removed from the network. In this case, 
disabled devices will be ignored while the other devices on the network can go to operational mode. So far, we looked at all the parameters required to use this function. Let's go ahead and apply it to the sample project. This project has 8 Ethercad drives configured with identification checking. Now, remove slaves 2 and 5 physically from the network. We will use the following PLC to set the necessary parameters. Disable slave index 2 and 5. Then activate the network using ecat enable is equal to 1. Download the project to pmac and run the PLC from the terminal to activate the network. As you can see, the Ethercat network is active. All the devices are in operational mode except slave index 2 and 5. Let's look at another example where slave devices can be disabled from the running system. Again, I am using pre-configured Ethercat project. Activate the master by running command ecat index 0 dot enable is equal to 1. Now disable the slave using ecat index 0 dot slave index 2 dot enable equals 0. As you can see, the slave is now disabled from the network and is in pre-op mode. In the running system, you can bring back the slave to operational mode using ecat set slave state machine function which takes four arguments master index slave index slave mode and timeout now set ecat index 0 dot slave index 2 dot enable equals 1 to enable the slave issue the command l0 equals ecat set slave state machine 0 comma 2 comma 8,2000 to change the slave mode from pre-op to operational mode. As you can see, the slave is in operational mode and ready to use. Thank you for watching this video. We hope this video was helpful in learning the Ethercad disable in PMAC. If you have any questions, please contact your local Omron representative.